I like to start these videos with a little pound sometimes. In this case, as it relates to this video, the pound is for if you are out there right now and you see what is happening with Cardano. And I'm going to break it down. If you have 10 minutes and if you don't see what's happening with Cardano, I'm going to show you exactly what's happening with Cardano. It, it's what has me so bullish on Cardano and the ecosystem of cryptos and projects that are launching on Cardano going into this next bull cycle. It can't become any more obvious, everybody. I'm going to show you the specific numbers within 10 minutes. So hit the subscribe, hit the like, and let's just do it. This is the chart. It's very easy to be misguided by narratives out there. Man, Cardano's just suffering. It's performing worse than, than the rest of the market. You know, same, same as the last cycle, right? We had the same exact thing. Cardano, it just looks so done for, right? And then what happened? It absolutely exploded. And we're getting to this phase where we're exiting this red rectangle. And historically, this is kind of right where ADA bottomed out in that last cycle, right after the red rectangle started cruising to the upside. Obviously, COVID came in, threw things off. But it's, we're, we're, we're approaching this area between the red rectangle and the Bitcoin halving. And that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to discuss the records that are being broken on Cardano right now, why fundamentally Cardano blockchain I think is going to be the most overperforming, outperforming blockchain in terms of the crypto ecosystem. Let me explain why in this video with specific numbers. I'm going to break it down right now. So this is, this is Cardano TVL. If you look at it, $243 million doesn't seem like a lot. And let me start there by prefacing this video with this tweet from Lucid over here on X. He said, DeFi Llama is playing favorites. They add Lido's liquid staking as the second largest source of TVL on Ethereum but refuse to mention the $12 billion that is liquid staking on Cardano. Why is the best staking me mechanism, which is Cardano, $12 billion liquid staking, why is that not included in the TVL? Because if it were, it, this wouldn't be $243 million TVL. This would be $12 billion-ish. And as he says, Cardano would be number two in TVL in the whole market if the liquid staking was measured. So if you, and if you just look at all chains, he's right. It would be number two behind Ethereum. Ethereum right now at 24 billion. Cardano is not far behind. As many, many people out there will say it's a ghost chain. It is behind. It's not behind at all, everybody. And the way that it's approaching the scalability, decentralization, and security problems and, and challenges in the crypto space, I think they have a better approach than Ethereum. Slow, slower moving, maybe, but a better approach. And so when those fundamentals start to collide with data that is being pretty much hidden for most people, I become ultra bullish because I, I just, I think if you have access to the data, it becomes obvious what's happening right now. And let's talk about that data. So if we go back to Cardano TVL, let's, let's disregard the 12 billion. Let's, let's make it even harder for Cardano. Cardano getting kind of this, this late start I think unfairly, but let's say, okay, 243 million then. Let's, let's throw out in the trash the 12 billion total value locked from liquid staking. Let's start at 243 million. So here we go. What I want to do is I want to start with Ethereum. If you look at Ethereum, Ethereum's all-time high TVL was around $128 billion, $128 billion. But check this out. If you go back and you look at November 2020, let's go find November 2020. It's somewhere, November 2020. That was the bull market doors being broken uh, in crypto in general. Bitcoin bull market doors breaking. November 2020, Ethereum was 11 billion. You go a year before that. So we go all the way back to November 2019. Ethereum, 500 some million. Dollars. Why am I doing that? Why am I going a year before those bull market doors were broken? Well, this was, this was DeFi coming online for the first time for Ethereum back then. And a year before those bull market doors were broken was, was basically from a very similar standpoint a year before the next bull market doors are broken for us now. So in my view, and I, I, I posted this on, on X the other day, I think we're around a year from this happening, this event. We're a year before there right? Here it was last time. And a year before that, November 2019, if we can find it on the chart right around here, this is a Bitcoin chart, but for Ethereum, Ethereum was 500 to 600 million in total value locked a year before the bull market doors. 
Now for Cardano, we're a year before the bull market doors and Cardano is not 500, 600 million. It's 243 million. And remember, we're disregarding $12 billion of TVL. So if we, if we actually took into consideration the 12 billion, Cardano would be right around, if not a little more, the $11 billion that Ethereum was at when the actual bull market doors were broken. So Cardano, many people saying is behind and it's actually ahead. It's ahead in, in, in I think, tackling key issues like security, right? Decentralization, not perfect by the way, but I think they're ahead in, in, in those things, but maybe even in total value locks. And that's not an opinion. This isn't hopium of any sort. This is just data. But even still, let's say we're at 243 million a year before the bull market doors break, right? Ethereum was 500 to 600 million. If that's the case, that's fine. If we go to an Ethereum chart, remember, Ethereum's all-time high in that first bull market run was 125, 125 billion. And if we look at a Cardano chart, it was 93 billion, right? So Ethereum in its first kind of main bull market outperformed Cardano in its first major bull market, right? 93 billion versus 100 and some billion. But either way, Cardano is a little bit behind. Now, if we look at what, Car or what Ethereum did in its first DeFi bull market, 546 billion, I think we can, we can still just fairly say, okay, well, what if Cardano underperforms 500 some billion and we're hitting maybe 350 billion, right? That's a $10 ADA. Now, if we're hitting a $10 ADA and total value locked, as I do this video, if we include TVL, like uh, governance tokens staked in the protocol, right now is around 841 million. We're approaching a billion a year before the bull market. So going into the bull market, are we at 1, 1 billion, 2 billion? Are we at 3 billion ADA in the next year? I'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like, but if we are... And Cardano ADA is hitting, let's say, $10. Let's just use it as a very even number with 3 billion TVL locked in ADA. That's $30 billion TVL. And remember, we're not even including the liquid staking. So you can see how kind of misrepresented Cardano is right now across the crypto space. $243 million, I think is very deceiving in terms of what's actually happening right now on this protocol. And, and because the fact that things like the staking mechanism and the innovation behind it are being ignored, it makes it so much more bullish for me because it does, in a sense, bother me like that the data is not really too accurate in terms of how they're approaching data with other protocols. It bothers me a little bit, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, I feel a little grateful that I, you know, I've, I see this data for what it is and I realize this data for what it is. It kind of makes me feel like I have an upper hand and I'm sharing it with all of you not to sell anyone on anything. It, it really doesn't matter to me what you all do. I'm sharing my crypto journey. I'm sharing my enthusiasm for being in crypto. I've learned so much over the years. I really enjoy just creating content on this. Whether you like Cardano or not does not matter to me. But I think sharing the data and just pulling out the data and really revealing it for what it is, I think can be so powerful in terms of preparing for the next crypto cycle. Not even in just relation with ADA, but just in the whole crypto space. Picking apart data and understanding what's really happening is crucial, I think, in terms of getting the best leverage and preparing in the best manner for the next bull cycle. And this is what I'm doing in terms of ADA. The data is so clear in front of us as TVL right now on this chart is just cruising to the upside, hitting another all-time high uh, as far as ADA goes. And then we look at something as uh, in terms of ETH total value locked and look at the difference. Something's happening on Cardano blockchain. I'm very much paying attention. I wanted to break down this data as Cardano obviously hitting another ADA all-time high in TVL. I wanted to break it down on a, on a deeper level and talk about total value locked, talk about what's in store for this blockchain all these innovative products coming online, these projects launching, right? 
the EUTXO, this, this combination, and I said this before, this combination of Bitcoin security and Ethereum programmability just being driven through Cardano blockchain is really cool. And I think there's a lot of people out there, a lot of silent people out there, non-hype people out there that are recognizing this for what it is. And they're preparing, just like myself. These are just my thoughts, everybody. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I appreciate you. Hope you're having a good weekend. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you're a subscriber, turn on the notifications. Hit that like. Your support truly does mean a lot, for, a lot to me, and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. I really am. So have a good weekend. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.